Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the Virtual Dokan Ultimate Clash 8th Anniversary Edition and we're going to see just how difficult the final boss is as well as briefly go through all my team builds for the other bosses and discuss how best to take them on. We'll take on Goku first and then go through the team builds for the other bosses afterwards. Now Goku is immune to stunning, immune and attack lowering and defense lowering. The trick to beating him is to use uh, a sealer. Now it's important to understand two things. I use mono team builds for Ultimate Clash, which means I use units all of one type. And also when taking on this anniversary edition, it's generally a little bit easier uh, than the normal editions of the event. Most times, sometimes it can be more difficult. There is also one extra fight, but the rewards are amplified as well. Our sealers that we'll be using on this team is predominantly the Master Roshi unit, who's a fantastic unit and you want to make sure that you get his 18 key to make sure that you seal the boss. And that's pretty much it when it comes down to understanding how to take on Goku. You can see Goku does a fair chunk of damage with his Spirit Bomb, but if you seal him, you shouldn't have any major problems. Beyond that, there's not really anything to him as a boss, outside of the big damage of the Spirit Bomb ability, so you should be fine. Uh, in terms of the Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, obviously it's a very very good event that all players should run. You get a ton of stones, a ton of hidden potential orbs, and you just get a crap load of great rewards, Elder Kai is included as well. So there's always a great incentive to take on this event, and I highly suggest to players that they do it, especially if they haven't done it for the first time, the rewards will be pretty massive. Now outside of that, there's nothing too crazy here. Our team build is predominantly free to play units and a lot of my teams will feature free to play units. It's important to note that you can adjust my team strength uh, accordingly for your own units. However, I would suggest whenever I highlight a sealer or a stunner or whichever relevant unit, that you try and find a reciprocal copy for those units. For example, maybe you don't have Master Roshi, but you should replace him with another unit that can seal the boss. Because if you don't, then you are going to have a rough time. Of course, if you have very good units, you can overwhelm the boss through sheer strength alone, which is always something that's really, really cool, but some players may not have that option. And yeah, that basically amounts to it. Uh, there's not really anything else that you need to know. Uh, I think for the most part, most players should be more than fine when it comes down to this event. And yeah, just in general, a pretty decent time overall. At least, I would say, on the surface level. This Ultimate Clash was really not uh, anything too major. And it was honestly just a very fun, very good time. Very nice... Uh, good fights, nice difficulty, nothing too hard, a couple bosses posed slightly more problems than others just depending on the strength of the team, but I would say most players, at least most players who have built up their box a little bit, should be able to take on this event. Now if you're a new player, a great way to prepare for this event is to do the first 10 original SBR or Super Battle Road stages. These will generally help you develop enough units to take on Ultimate Clash. And yeah, that basically surmises it. So Goku will be defeated this turn, and then we're going to take a look at every single boss, discuss what abilities they have, and highlight any specific units in my team that I feel are necessary towards beating this event. And you don't have to use mono teams, you can build category teams, I just find mono teams tend to perform the best when I take on Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. So yeah, that is it for Goku, and as you can see, that's level 3 done, and everything done pretty well. We have a couple units spare because we didn't repeat, and yeah. So Vegeta is immune to stunning, he, Frieza, and Goku are all immune to stunning, and that's about it. So you can attack, lower them, seal them, and do all of those things. However, none of them are specifically difficult. Uh, all of them should be able to be taken out with your weakest team. So use your weakest variant of whatever mono team you have. I didn't even prioritize ceiling or anything substantial here. There was nothing too important to highlight in terms of units, so you should be more than fine. Lots of them feature lots of free-to-play units, tons of options on all of these teams, 
and you can adjust them as needed. None of these fights were specifically hard. Then we have Turles. Uh, in terms of this, we have the immune to stunning, immune to attack lowering, and immune to defense lowering, which is pretty straightforward, I would say. Um, you know, relatively simple. Honestly, nothing too crazy here. Again, we can seal him, uh, but there wasn't anything too wild that needed. Master Roshi and Tien do a great job with this. Then we have Lord Slug, who's the same as Turles, but you can add on attack lowering of defense on his super attack. So again, sealing is helpful here, and the Giru unit does help out a lot. However, again, he's not distinctly too difficult. He is relatively, relatively strong. But nothing too crazy. Again, ceiling is going to be your number one component here. So, Ribrian, Giru, these are pretty good choices. The Android 13, I did not have a sealer. Uh, but again, ceiling is the number one priority. He's the exact same as Lord Slug in that he lowers defense on a super attack, is immune to stunning and attack and defense lowering. However, here I managed to just beat him through the power of the strength of this free to play strength team which was fairly solid. Jace helps out a lot because he has the ability to force e super attacks, but he can cause you some problems, so I would suggest bringing a sealer, although a strength extreme sealer is a bit difficult to come by. Then we have the Super Saiyan Goku. He's immune to stunning, sealing, attack lowering, defense lowering, and he will also lower your attack, your defense, and seal you on his super. He did not feel too powerful, honestly. This team was way, 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 way overkill. Uh, and honestly, they, you know, I would say, although he does cause a lot of debuffs to you, he doesn't feel necessarily strong in terms of his raw numbers and raw output. So you should be okay. I would ideally bring a tanky unit for the first slot. Maybe that's AGL Golden Freezer. Or you can use a unit like Tech Khalifla that auto dodges pure Saiyans. Finally, we have Kid Buu, who's immune to stunning, attack lowering, defense lowering, and recovers HP. Sealing is very effective for all three of the final bosses, and he's no different. Chi Chi is a great sealer, and the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta that you can pick up with a redstone is a fantastic tank to use for this event. And finally, we have a Mega Shenron, very similar to Lord Slug and Android 13 in that he lowers your attack. Ceiling is super effective here, and he can lower your defense quite substantially on his super attack, like a lot. So be prepared to have some tankier units. Captain Ginyu and the Android 16 are great free to play choices for this event. And that's that. That is the Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash 8th Anniversary Edition. If you need any further help, you can leave me a comment down below, and I'll gladly assist you. But until then, as always, wish you guys luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye!